Well, two days after the horrific explosion in East Harlem, the death toll continues to rise. Officials say of the eight ported people reported missing, eight people have been found dead. It's a very sad situation, and the city is doing all it can to help. Everett's Julia Sun joins us live from New York with what officials are offering in terms of temporary housing. Julia, so apparently there are about 100, if not more, people living in the apartment building, and they're all in need of a place to stay at this well, point, Well, it's right? actually a sh Exactly, and there are about 120 people who are currently staying in the shelter right behind me. This is where the city comes in. We need to help these victims of the explosion. And by the way, as you said, eight bodies have been recovered so far, and the search is far from over. Since two days ago, families registered at this Salvation Army 10 short blocks away. Temporary housing was provided. We have up to 120 people, 28 to 30 families who've registered. There are some families who are from the buildings that completely collapsed. There are some families here who are from surrounding buildings that just can't go back into their apartments until things are cleaned up. New York City is also arranging permanent housing options. 15 apartments on the east side are made available to displaced residents. Community organizations like the Salvation Army are offering health services for victims. We have numerous mental health and health support services, counselors basically, um, who can work with individuals and families to sort of cope with this difficult time. The city's rescue effort is impressive, but some are not happy. Homeless individuals feel their resources are being taken and their needs upstaged. I feel bad for the people in the collapse, but it's, it should be equal because like before this ha collapse happened, people have been trying to get help from the Salvation Army. They don't do nothing but treat us like garbage. This is indeed a high-profile tragedy, and I have to say the city is doing a very good job at helping the victims. When I was walking from the explosion site to this shelter earlier today, I felt much better because the scene was much more organized at the explosion scene, and uh, it was just more cleaned up. Um, the weather is really working for the city. Today is about 20 degrees higher, warmer than two days ago, and also I felt the air quality is so much better. I did, do not need to wear a mask to walk around, so hopefully the rescue effort is only going to get easier from here. Nicole? All right, Julia, thank you for the update.